Hi, this is Howard from Aver Information. Today, I'm gonna show you how to set up the dual camera tracking with the phone 700 with two cam 550. Okay, so for first step, we need to enable the room management. And then, uh, when you connect the phone 700 to your PC, you will get the USB, USB device, two cam 550 and one phone 700. First step, we need to check the firmware version of each camera and the phone 700 and the software version is the lattice one. Okay, and uh, we go back. First step, we go to the phone 700. When we go inside the phone 700, we will see the settings system and audio patch. But we need to have the audio checking patch here. So first step, we need to go to system. And then you will see the factory default here. Please set the reset the uh, phone 700 to factory default. And then back. Okay, so first step, we need to go to the camera setting. Okay, so when we go to the camera setting, you will see the preset link page here. The X mode link, you just turn on. And you will see here, and we just continue. And we go to the setting page. We need to make sure our check-in mode is stay in the manual frame. Okay, we back to home page. And for the second camera, we do the same thing. Go to the setting, go to the preset link, and turn on the F mode link. Continue. And go to the setting, and make sure the check-in mode is stay in the manual frame. And we back to the home. Okay. And second step, we need to go to the phone 700, the setting page here. And on left hand side, we will see the new patch. It's called the audio checking patch. Okay, so we need to set up some settings inside here. First step, we need to set the installation height. So we have two options, inch or centimeter. So in my meeting, we, we are you install the phone 700, just like 290 centimeter high. So we just enter the 290. And for the camera selection, we have two options. Uh, we have two cameras. So we can just select one camera and it will show the preview. So this can let us to identify which one is the uh, camera you want to be the primary camera. Okay, when you select the second one, it will also show the preview. Okay, so I want to use the first one to be the primary camera. So I just select the first one. And then the camera setting here, we have two options, upright or upside down. In, uh, it depends on your scenario. Okay, so in my scenario, I use the upright here. And the uh, next step is camera alignment. So in my meeting room, I use four units. And for the phone 700, the maximum we can uh, connect up to the four units. So first step, we need to find out which one is the first unit to connect to the hub. So my first unit is this one. So I just go to the setting. Okay, and you will see the view here like this and uh, we need to find out the horizontal line in this image. So, for the first step, we need to just find out the first phone 700 unit, and we can do run in, run out to adjust the image. And we can find out the, this horizontal line to fit the phone 700 upper line. You can see here, we need to align the upper edge. Okay, so we just use this line to fit the upper line. Okay, and next. And the second step, we need to find out the uh, corner of the upper edge. So we need to find out the left hand side and right hand side, the upper edge corner to define the uh, one point and two point. And the next step. In this step, we need to um, select the direction of the AVA logo. So in our phone 700 surface, we will have AVA logo. So we can direct see here, the AVA logo is on the downside. So in this four direction, we need to select the third one. And next. And in this step, we need to find out the center point of the phone 700. You can use the control panel, run in, run out, to find out the center point of the phone 700. And next. In this step, we need to check the accurate of the setting, then press start. For example, I just sitting here, and when I'm speaking, uh, I just want to test the audio checking, is it accurate to check the person. So you will see. When the camera will check the person, and uh, you can imagine that if you had in this image, and it, it will be correct, okay? So we can click, to make sure. Done. And uh, when you finish the alignment, it will pop up the two way you can just set the rest of the units. So one way is do the same thing, the manual alignment for each speaker phone, each phone 700. 
We also can use the finish and set the speaker bone position. It means we can use the mathematics just like XYZ to set the position of the rest of the units. And then we need to set the second unit. So we just go to the setting. And inside the setting, you will see the XYZ here. XYZ you can see here, the convention speaker bone alignment. Please help to make sure, uh, make sure and enter the distance between the select uh, speaker bone with the first speaker bone by XYZ. What is XYZ? Uh, you can refer to the picture here. So you can imagine that this is a, a floral drawing. So um, in the center, we will treat the first one, phone save hunter, is the original point. It's a stop starting point. So you will see, uh, this one is first one, phone save hunter. So its stop point is like zero, 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 zero. So you can see the X, Y here. You can imagine that uh, you are use the bird view, bird view to see your meeting room and where is the rest of the unit so when we are uh, seeing just like so treat the first one from the hunter is a zero and zero where is the second one so you can imagine that if the second one is below to the first one unit here so for the y for the y is a minus and we calculation with the centimeter or inch so you need to uh, know the distance between the first one unit to the second one unit so for the y you can compare uh, you can just uh, refer to this diagram here for the y the second one is below to the first unit so it's minus it's negative and if the first uh, the second one is above for the first one you can uh, type the y is positive okay and for the x it's just like the horizontal line and uh, for the uh, for the second unit because it's in the same horizontal line so the x is also zero but for the y is minus and we already know this distance is like 300 centimeters. So for the second unit, is x is zero, and for the y is minus 300. Okay, and we do another one. Is you can imagine that this one is the third one. Is the third one. So for the y, is we just all uh, all unit just against to the first unit. So for the third one, the y is also minus 300. But for the x, for the x, it's just in the same horizontal line, but it's in different position. So if the second, uh, if the third one is on the left hand side, it's a minus, it's a negative, it's negative. So we already know this line, the distance here is 240, 230. So for the x, it's minus 240 for the third one. And the this one is the fourth one, it's the fourth one. And we know the y because they are in the same horizontal, so for the y is zero. But for the x, we are in a deep, different position, so for the x is minus 240. Okay, so this is, uh, this is a, it just relates to the mathematics and the police uh, remember always treat you like the bird view to see the whole floral joint. This one is first unit. So for the Z, it's a high. So Z, for the first unit is zero, zero, zero. So most of the unit, uh, well, in the same high, but if your seating is just quite, quite different and if, if your second unit or third unit of phone seven hundred is not in the same high, zero uh, is a start, starting point from the phone seven hundred for the first unit. If the second unit is under the phone seven hundred, the number will be positive. The number will be positive. So if the second unit is above to the first unit, the number is minus, is negative. Okay. It means that forward to the ground is positive. If you backward to the sky, it means not negative. So we back to the room management. So again, for the second unit, we already know for the x is zero, but for the y is minus three hundred. So it's the same, and we dump. And for the third one, as we mentioned, for the x is minus two forty, y is minus three hundred, and we are all in the same height. So z is zero. Dump. And the fourth unit in the same horizontal line, but for the x is different position, so it's minus 240. Done. Okay, and then rest of the setting, you can see here the group view, group view, we need to turn off. We need to turn off. And then you will see on the button, we have the dual camera checking. Dual camera checking. And we just directly go to the setting. And you will see the floral drawing here. And uh, the most important part is like, it will just define to the every single phone set hunter and the camera here. So the first step we need to make sure you can see the camera position for the primary camera. We treat this one is the primary camera. So the XYZ 
is related to the first unit because we already know from the first unit is zero zero zero. Okay, so the first step in here we need to go to the secondary camera. Okay, so we need to define where is the secondary camera. So you also can refer to your floor drawing, and uh, you can imagine that um, the secondary camera you can just type in, click the icon, and you can move to the position you need. And you also can adjust the X Y Z here. So let the camera be. You can adjust the X Y Z here, and uh, remember to rotate the camera. You will see the camera can be rotated. It means that the lens, when the lens in the center point, the factory center point, is which direction. So it means that we, our camera is forward to the uh, phone 700. So it's the same direction with my primary camera. So we just set the same. Okay. And uh, I want to, uh, I, I already know the distance is 150 centimeters. So I just back to the primary camera to see the XYZ here. XYZ. Okay, so we just compare it to the primary camera. I just adjust a little bit because it's in the same horizontal line, in the same height. But for the distance, it's just like 150 centimeters. So we can compare it to the first one is 12. So 12 to, you know, X for the left hand side is minus. So 12 to minus the 150 is like 138. And done. So it will be more accurate to do the audio checking. So here, when, you, when we check the phone 700 area, you will see the first unit is 0, 0, 0 and for the fourth unit is minus 240. Second unit is minus 300. So then we can define the area which you want to check. It's the main purpose for the dual camera checking. So when we select here, you will see the primary camera. We need to define where you want to check for the primary camera. And for the yellow circle, it means that the coverage of the audio checking. Okay, so when the people speak in this coverage, it will be the uh, audio checking uh, area. It's the audio checking area. So we can define, I want to use the primary camera to capture my left hand side people. So I just define the area here. And I want to define in the middle, like in this meeting room. So I just press, you can adjust the area here. Okay. And you also, it's not just only can define one area, you can just define you can also define a lot of area, like primary 2, primary 3. We can define the multiple area, what you want to check in the uh, dual, lens, dual camera checking. Okay, and just click, delete. It's quite easy. Okay, and for the secondary camera here, I want the secondary camera to check the right hand side. So I just also use the mouse to define the area. And uh, click and use your mouse to do the adjustment. Okay, and also you can define the multiple area. Okay, and the phone 700 area is mean that to show you the phone 700 position and the uh, checking coverage. And for the exclusion area, it mean that the area you don't want the camera to do the checking, even though when the phone 700 uh, receives the signal. So, it means that uh, you can imagine that in this area I don't want to be checked, so I just drawing the area for the exclusion area. Okay, and we're done. Okay, so for the most important part here is that if we want to use the real camera checking, we need to enable it. Turn on. But we need to go to select the Aver USB beacon. So uh, I just enable the camera here. And you will see, I just enabled Aver USB beacon. So when I'm sitting in this area, so it will do the audio checking, just like that. So you can see, it just checking me in this scenario. And I just move to the another position. You will also switch to the another camera to do the checking, just like that. Okay, so we just successfully to install the two Cam 550 with one to use our room management to do the uh, dual camera checking. Thank you.